slide. Um, you know, the, the first slide here is I want to hit home the message of these three weeks very, very boldly and loudly. Uh, next slide, please, uh, Hafizu. We are here with 10 different corporations, another 15 supporting partners, uh, 20 speakers uh, from Brunei and around the world uh, to do just one thing. We go back to the previous slide. That is very, very important. Now, guys, read it with me. This is what we are here to do, what we're focusing on for the next three weeks, developing resilient future leaders together, right? So for nothing else, you have to remember, what are we here to do? We are helping you to become leaders. What kind of leaders? Future leaders that are extremely resilient. So with that, let me start on with my first slide. Now, if you're looking at the screen right now, as I am doing so, you see that uh, we have so many, so many logos on the screen. Uh, young people, these are all the people who are responsible for your future success as a resilient leader. So I want to acknowledge um, all the sponsors, starting from BIBD, our host, um, our double platinum sponsor, uh, Total Energies. Platinum sponsors, we have five. We have BGC, BLNG, CIC, Insurance Islam Type, and Progressive. And then we have our gold sponsor, Joyton Park Medical Center. Uh, our silver sponsor, McDonald's, and Taekwon Holding. Uh, Curious Mind, which is uh, our team. Uh, you know, we are the program curator. Um, on the right side, uh, our supporting government organizations. Um, you know, since the very, very first uh, youth empowerment event, we have had the support of the Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sports. And then, you know, uh, the Ministry of Education, as I mentioned, had been instrumental uh, in, in uh, helping to make this happen. Uh, guys, uh, I want to ask, you all received the book, the program book, have you not? Isn't it amazing, amazing uh, design? So the program book is designed by exotic creation, right? With, um, you know, the part to the help and the support of uh, Hafizu, who is in the room here. Hafizu, can you say hi to everyone? Yes, <laughs> yes, let's go, let's go. Yeah, yeah. So, so um, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take out too much time by naming every single person, but to the supporters, the partners, um, and, and everyone who has helped make this happen, thank you. Right, next slide, please. Now, uh, on the 30th of November, uh, I think we had about 100 people in Zoom, which is a tent of this size over the press conference, doing something extremely, extremely serious and significant. We had the head of companies, the head of marketing, the head of communication, uh, country head, you know, nine different organizations came together in front of Zoom in their own living room, in their own uh, um, um, uh, offices, all sitting together, signing uh, a pledge. It says, um, the pledge is, what, what's the pledge again, guys? Developing future resilient leaders together. So, so uh, it was called Together Apart Signing Ceremony. I, I wanted to start this, uh, uh, this talk, you know, by paying special tribute to all these uh, fine people. Because, you know, at the end of the day, when you look at all the logos, yeah, they are run by people, actual real people who were one day in your seat who were one day young people in high school to where they are today. So the significance of this slide that is in front of you serve as a reminder that one day you will be sitting in that seat, right? And when my daughter, who will be taking over Curious Mind, uh, knocking on your door and say, hey, can you support our Youth Empowerment Summit program number 15? I hope you'll be one of them to signing and empowering us to do so. Can I have a pledge of all of you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> now, it is very important at this stage, right? Before I go there, right? For you all to understand, there's a very important button called clapping, right? 
because if I'm now talking to the screen, I would have no idea how I am doing. You know, underneath me, I'm sh shaking, <laughs> I'm sweating. So I need some encouragement. Can we all have a good clap of hands for all these young, all these, well, they are, okay, let's call them all these young, uh, wonderful people uh, who have just signed the pledge to support all of you. A big clap, a round of applause, all right? Can, no, no, not only that, right? Can I have that gesture on your Zoom virtual clapping? Let's see if everyone knows how to do it. Let's, let's make sure that our sponsors know our appreciation for them. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. Okay, I just want to give you some background on who is in the room today. Um, next slide, please. Yes, thank you for all your claps. Okay. Now, the, the participants, you know, until this morning were still flowing in in their application. And, and this is like the latest, latest, latest number. Uh, we have a total of 965 participants because of the generous sponsorship of our sponsors, right? And they come from 66 different schools and institutions around the world. Right, of which 57 of them are in Brunei and the others are from overseas. Come, let's, let's roll over the next slide. Let me show you who is in the room, all right? So we have people from Australia, uh, Brunei, of course, Cambodia, Hong Kong, Indonesia, Malaysia, Myanmar. Um, I can't read the next one. <laughs> uh, can someone help me here? I can't. Uh, Oman, Oman, yes. Um, Oman, sure. uh, the Philippines. <laughs> Uh, Russia, Singapore, Sri Lanka, Tanzania, Vietnam, and Zimbabwe. Uh, you know, I don't know how many of you have been through more than half of the countries. I, I can't even count. I think I might have been to only less than half. So the world is a very, very big place. And I want to warmly welcome our friends all from overseas. Um, join our little party for the next three weeks. Brunei is a fine place and you will discover why. All right. So everyone, can I see a round of applause to our international guests here? All right. Okay, wonderful. Next. This is very weird. You know, you see applause, but you can't hear it. I, I almost feel that I am deaf. <laughs> okay, next slide, please. Um, a quick overview on what you're expecting today. All this information are already in your booklet, so I'm not going to go through the next three weeks. But very quickly, I want you to know what you are expecting. So, uh, at, so we have just finished our opening ceremony. We are getting into the fun part, all right? So the serious, important part, done, right? What's the fun part? We're going to have a talk on grit and resiliency uh, by myself. Okay, so you have to pretend to pay attention. All right. And then after that, at 2.50, we're going to have a very special guest by the name of Chia Amos, uh, dialing in all the way from Russia, from St. Petersburg, Russia. I've never been there, but right now it's winter, it's extremely cold. So we're going to ask him about all about that, right? And then remember just now, Yang Bohama, Dato, I mean, uh, mentioned about the core students. So we've had 180 core students that have been working extra time to join us in leading this special summit. And, and these people would be here divided into nine teams, right? Over the next three weeks, uh, every week we'll have three teams presenting what they have learned to you. Uh, and, you know, the way to learn anything is to teach. So we are putting these nine uh, outstanding young people who are made out of the edge students, as well as, you know, about, uh, what, 65 or so uh, students from around Brunei. You know, they are grouped into team and they are going to present to you what they have learned. All right. So um, for half an hour, our first team will be talking about growth mindset. And then the mentor from Insurance Islam Thai, yeah, Mr. Sharu, uh, will be accompanying them 
after that, you know, to, to supplement on their presentation. And then there will be five minutes of Q&A, all right? We have almost a thousand people right now. So if you want your voice to be heard, if you want, um, you know, to get the attention and ask questions, you would have to be the first to put up your hand, all right? Uh, I don't think you will have much chances if you were to type in the question, because I know that our young people in Brunei are extremely, extremely competitive, all right? So uh, get ready, press, you know, learn how to press the hello button, yeah, to ask your question, all right? So we will have a session, the first session is on growth mindset, and then we'll come on to a break. And then after that, it will be on emotional intelligence and grit. And then after that, it will be on crisis management and adversity. And then after that, we're gonna have a very, very special guest, who is a very good friend of mine, uh, Ms. Lailatu Zubaida, who will be coming on board, um, you know, to be sharing with you on her life experience on how she managed adversity. Uh, because her session is the last session, it will be from 5 to 5.30. So Zubaida and I had a conversation and, and you know, she worried, hey, what if I can't tell my story, my life story in half an hour? I say, hey, take it away, all right? You know, um, at 5.30, those people who need to leave, they can leave. They don't need to drive home. They're already at home, all right? So you all are free to stay on for however long the conversation needs to be but it's entirely optional. Uh, but if you choose to stay, I will promise you, this will uh, be a life-changing experience. Okay, are we, are we clear so far on what to expect on today? Okay, wonderful. Next. So house rules, right? Number one, be curious. Yeah, put up your hand, ask questions, okay? Number two, be supportive. Give us like, Give us your clap, right? We are talking to um, to the screen, so it's very, very difficult. Yeah, and be extra, extra kind to uh, the three teams that will be participating, that will be speaking, because it is it is extremely, extremely scary uh, to be talking to a thousand people. It is, you know, um, and they have only one week of preparation. Right, so can you help me? You know, join me in giving them all the encouragement that they need, right? And make sure that after the talk, right, you reach out to them and say how much you enjoy it, what you've learned from them, and so that we can all grow together. Now come, now come, the very very important rule, right? We will be keeping very very sharp on time, meaning that if um, we go over time, we will cut, all right? And we don't want to do that. So in order for us to make sure that we are on time, five minutes before the next session, what will happen? Oh, you see, my team is not paying attention. <laughs> okay, so if you hear that presenting team, you know, you know that you have five minutes left. Can you play that again, uh, Frenzy? I think I think she I, I think Francie forgot his battery for the phone. <laughs> but you all can hear the, 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 the siren, right? The, the the small alarm. All right. So if you hear that, you know you have five minutes left. Okay? And then when when um when it is time to leave, we'll have a lot more stern alarm. Can you play that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is embarrassing, <laughs> but okay. If you hear something, you will know that it's time to finish. Okay, so don't tell us we didn't tell you. you know, we pre warn you. Okay, um, so this is all the boring bits uh, about the rules. Yeah. Now comes the really exciting one. Can we have a uh, slide number one? I'm not sure if you notice. Just now, as DJ Natsri. Uh, mentioned about, read about my title. Are you still there, Natsri? No, she's not. He's not. When, when DJ Natsri uh, mentioned about my title, he, he almost laughed. He said five observations. I thought he's going to teach something. No, he's just going to say, you know, what he has observed. 
right? So five observations about grit and adversities. Um, you know, I, I'm not here uh, to give you any magic pill. I think uh, <laughs> uh, I cannot make you resilient, but I can try to share with you what I've observed through my 20 years life of, uh, of working, through my life of uh, interviewing people and, uh, you know, doing magazines and through all my life experience. I would want to start off with a question, all right? Now I'm putting you to the test. What is great? We have a thousand people. Don't embarrass <laughs> me. <laughs> the, the 15 other countries are watching. Can someone step up to the mic and tell me what is great? Uh, yep, I see persistent. Uh, someone raise hand. Yes, Hasri. Can so, you unmute yourself? Okay. Uh, good morning. Good afternoon, Sean. Uh, so Hi, great, great is, uh, my name is Hazri. I'm one of the core participants from group four. So great is basically like the courage or the strength of you, the character, the person, your resolve and determination towards something set on your goal. That's amazing. Hasri, you yes. have great. Yes. You're the first person to put up your hand, you're here. Oh, Asha, Asha, welcome. So happy you're here. Hello. What is Hello, great? Everyone. I'm Ursha. So for me, um, what I know about great is like passion and dedication to complete um, basically like your goals or um, something that you really want. Okay, okay. So the passion and the dedication to commit to something that you really, really want. Anyone else? <laughs> hey, Jingjing, Jing, how are you? Uh, good. Uh, they, they have said a, a lot of things. So I could add on one more that great could also be mental toughness. How, how you cope with it, how you cope with the situation could also be great. Mental toughness, you say. Well said. I think that's a great definition. Okay, I'll take one more, all right? You guys have started to impress me. I'm very, very happy. Uh, Kai Zuran, what is GRIT? Uh, hello. Uh, so GRIT for me is the strength to move forward and keep doing the good things in your life. So okay. whatever you're doing in your life, basically. So okay. that is great. Okay, the strength and the character to move forward. Am I right? Do you want to see my definition? Yeah, I want all of you to remember this, all right? Okay, next slide. My daughter would hate me for showing this picture. <laughs> Anyone can guess where it is? Uh, London? No, 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 it's not London. New York? New York? No, 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 no. Uh, did someone say Jalan Pretty? <laughs> KB. <laughs> Singapore. No, it's in Tokyo in, um, you know, Ginza, I think. Uh, that street closed on Sunday. Uh, anyway, it's not about the street, all right? What, what it says on the screen, it says the ability to fall down seven times and get up eight, right? And, and this is something that I want you all to remember. We all are going to trip. Doesn't matter who you are what you do, we're going to fall down, right? Now, by the seventh time that you fall down, are you going to get up the eighth time? Yeah. By the seventieth time that you fall down, are you going to get up the eightieth times? Right? So I want you to remember that as your definition of grit from now on. All right, next slide, please. I, I know I'm not supposed to show any naked picture. <laughs> <laughs> um, this picture was taken, I think, let me see what is the date, uh, December 20, um, 20 what, can anyone read it? My team? 2015. 2015. No, 2013. Oh my God, time passed. Seven years ago. <laughs> Seven years ago, um, you know, when my daughter was about three, my house caught on fire 
and it burned everything down, right? It was October 30th when overnight I lost every single thing that I own, right? Um, I remember moving to my brother's house, which I'm staying right now. Sorry, I remember moving to my brother's house, which I'm staying right now. I kicked my brother out, all right? This is what brothers do, all right? Um, he has a swimming pool. And, and in December, right? This is what I wrote on my Facebook. It says, so the fire has taken away my swimsuit, but what's stopping me from getting into the water? Now, what is grit, right? Grit is the ability to show defiance, right? And that fighting spirit and go, hey, you know, you cannot stop me, right? If you take away my swimsuit, I will still go into the pool, all right? Now, I want you all to think about your worst enemy when it comes to greed. You know, the people that you hate most, that want to see you fail. And what do you say to them? You can't stop me, right? Have the sense of inner fighting spirit in wanting to prove people wrong, right? That is great. Now, second slide, please. Um, I, I want you to focus on this gentleman uh, who is inside the picture that is circle, right? His name is Anshu Gupta, A-N-S-H-U-G-U-P-T-A, -U -U right? And you can Google him and you will see that you know, on the page on his Wikipedia, you know, um, it, it talks about him, uh, you know, being a multiple award winner, uh, a Ramon Magsaysay Award Foundation uh, awardee, uh, Ashoka Fellow. For those of you who don't understand, right, these are incredible award that is given to people who have made a change in the society, right? So I remember that, I, I remember, so, so he gave me this book, can you see? I, I remember um, I, I met him in 2018 uh, when, you know, when I invited him to, uh, to a talk in the Philippines, in Manila, uh, with, uh, you know, uh, Asia Inc. Forum, uh, you know, a, a Brunei-owned company, proudly Brunei-owned company. So when, when, I, when, when um, last year, so 2018 was when I first met him. Last year, I did, uh, when, during the first, first wave of COVID, uh, I did an interview with thought leaders from Brunei and from around the world. So I called up uh, Anshu Gupta and I, I set up an interview with him, uh, you know, along with a lot of outstanding, distinguished uh, business leaders and thought leaders. and, and um, I think I've done probably a dozen or so interview of this greatest, smartest mind around the world. And, and um, what, what puzzled me about Anshu was that throughout the interview, he was extremely chill and extremely relaxed. And then I couldn't hold my, uh, my curiosity. And then I ended up, I, and I, I just have to ask him the question. I say, hey, everyone else that I'm talking to right now, do not look happy. Why are you <laughs> looking so relaxed? All right. Do you want to see what he say? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hafizu, can you show the video? but observe a certain level of joy in you, whereby, you know, the people whom I'm talking to around the world, they look very sad, um, <laughs> you know, and, and when, when I watch your TED talk, you know, you spend a week, you know, going uh, around with undertakers or people who bury bodies, you have seen the worst of the worst. So it's, it's your time to teach us you know, how to face adversity and still be smiling. You know, because if, if we have the, the poverty and the problem of the world on our face, this will not solve any problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know? 
not at all i think you should learn that in the in the absolute adverse situation uh, instead of just worrying about it and keep talking about it more more important so that's what i have been saying that we actually do not need thinkers anymore we need we need the doers <laughs> so, i love that so so we are we are just trying to do our little bit fine we we 100% know that what we are doing is really really absolutely negligible very small in in the you know in the total Let's scenario go. of the problem but you know Did you hear what he's saying? We don't need thinkers anymore. We need doers. I mean, powerful, powerful stuff. You know, I've met a lot of really smart mind uh, that that come across my life, right? And and you know, it's people like Anshu, uh, people I met from the Philippines, my my friends who are you know at the grassroots solving problems, you know, that have been through hardship. Those are the people whom. You know, amidst all this difficult time, are the people who do not think too much about the circumstances. Now, the reason why Anshu Gupta is so cool, right? Unlike anyone else, is because this guy spent a week, uh, you know, on the street of Delhi, cleaning up corpses, collecting dead bodies, and then helping to dispose them or give them a dignified. Burial, right now. If you have been through some of the worst situation in your life, this is nothing, right? So, so I, what what I didn't show you is what he say about COVID. He say COVID. Why COVID? I've seen worse. All right. Now, what I'm worried about you guys is that you know a lot of you and and we are extremely lucky to be in Brunei, right? Um, and and you know a lot of you. Especially those who are the core participants, the edge students. Uh, you know, since young, uh, you have been ingrained in you that you are the chosen one, you are the smartest one, and you have done extremely well academically. You know, scoring A, 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 A. You know, I'm not worried about those other participants that have stumbled across the way, who have fell along the way, just like me. You know, because it is the participants like yourself that when you get into the workforce, and all of a sudden you realize that hey, it is not what they taught us from school, right? You realize that you know life is so much difficult, and you start facing rejections. And I can guarantee you that you are going to start facing lots and lots of rejections, right? So what my my point is, I know that Chia Amos is waiting, right? Uh, Chia, let me finish my final point, all right? Now, give me point number five, uh, um, uh, Hafizu. My point is, yeah, if you remember one thing and one thing only today, it is you need to practice failure, right? Now, these two gentlemen on the picture, uh, they are David and Isaac, whom I met 20 years ago when I was your age. Um, they came to Brunei, you know, with their really uh, 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 very thick cape, with uh, their guitar, you know, going around the street singing. And, and me and my wife, so that beautiful lady on the far left is my wife, Dion, right? <laughs> so me and my wife, my ex-girlfriend actually, now my wife. I'm doing pretty well, I know. Um, <laughs> and I used to have hair. <laughs> Let me hurry up. So the point of story is, right, I asked him, um, why uh, are you doing this? He said, and, and what, what, what is your profession? And he said this, yeah, uh, both of them are very accomplished lawyers in Spain. Yeah, and they want to learn something that is very significant. They want to learn that one day, if they lost everything at all, you know, they lost their business, they lost all their money, can they survive? by traveling around the world using their talent, which is their voice and the guitar. So as they travel, they did not bring on any money. They would be busking on the street. They came to Brunei. You know, some of the older people may recognize them, I think. Right? Um, Haja Nuru, have you seen them on the street? <laughs> anyway, I won't pick on anyone. I, I still want Haja Nuru to support me next year. <laughs> um, so. The, the point is, 
you know, these very, very accomplished people, you know, intentionally put themselves into trouble, yeah, so that they are ready when failure comes. No, my advice to you is extremely, extremely simple, right? Uh, I don't want you to face any failures. I want you to succeed. But if you are facing difficulty, and if you are facing failures, I want to congratulate you. Because if you are facing difficulty from young, it will build you up strong. Uh, you know, I can't wait uh, to share with you one of my favorite, favorite story of the year. Uh, next, right? Um, I have Mr. Uh, Chia Amos, who is calling all the way from Russia. Are you here, Chia? Hi, Hi Chia. Yeah, hi, yeah, hi. Oh my hi, God, you are here. Hi. Chia, you know, yeah, I, I have yeah, been yeah, showing yeah. your videos and every, <laughs> everything to everyone. Um, I, I want to properly introduce you. So, uh, Chia, uh, can we stop my slide? I, I'm done talking. I am done talking. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. That is a good slide. Actually, that's a good slide. So, my point of it all, right, is that we can show you how to have grit, right? But we cannot make you grittier. In order to be grittier, it's not about attending BIBD, yes, right? It's about putting yourself on the street to solve problem and, and practice failures, okay? Uh, Chia, do you agree? Uh, yes, yes, I, I, love, <laughs> I love that uh, last quote. It's, it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chia. Um, I would like to properly uh, introduce Mr. Chia Amos by calling uh, our colleague, uh, uh, Ms. Aimone, uh, to read out her, uh, his short bio. Uh, welcome, Chia. Uh, get yourself ready. Right. And um, we'll be having a blast for the next half an hour or so. Okay. Oh, thank